This has been one of my dreams that I've been wanting to do for like the past six plus years. I thought it was a passion at the time and I can definitely tell it's a passion now that I really, really want to fix aircraft. In this program, you learn the foundational skills needed to begin your career in aviation. This program is sort of the first third in a three-step process of becoming an A&P. A&P is Airframe and Power Plant Mechanic. Uh, in order to work on an aircraft, you have to have this certificate. The first step, the FAA refers to as the general. We talk about physics of the airplane. We work on our math skills. We work on our tool skills, uh, learning the names of the tools, proper usage of the tools. Uh, we have to provide opportunities for students to get hands-on, work with these tools, and get good with them. My favorite part is that I can get to use my hands every single day. I'm getting my hands dirty, getting my hand greasy. There's tons of different people in here from all over the state. Our teacher this year is, is awesome. He's super fun. He's funny. We drill a lot of holes here. Uh, drilling holes and we learn the basics of riveting. When students go to the post-secondary program, they have an entire sheet metal unit that's very intricate. We, we are the foundation of that. We start with basic Ohm's Law, um, learn the basics of electricity, we do a lot of calculations on circuits. Electricity runs just about everything, and it's becoming more prevalent, uh, even in aerospace. Um, you know, we have a local company that's uh, making an electric aircraft, so we've always had that electrical component and made it a big part of our senior year, and now it looks like it's gonna be even more important than ever. So half day, I still get to see all my friends. I still play sports at my high school. I just come here for two hours and go right back to my school, hang out with my friends. It's just a normal school day, I just go somewhere else. Right now I'm taking my second year of the general, which is two hours every day, my junior and senior year of high school. And then next year it'll be eight hours a day, every day, on the airport, um, working with my hands to get my airframe and power plan, my A&P. Take my test and get certified, and then from there I can go get a job anywhere in the United States. I've had students go through my program go through the post-secondary, get their A&P, go into the military. I've had them do the entire program and then go to college. I think this kind of dips their toe in aviation a little bit and kind of gets them thinking about and understanding some of the jargon, some of the rules and regulations, and just the work ethic in general. You know, you can look around this shop, you can see it's very neat and tidy. Um, that's how we like to work in aviation. We keep things in their place. I mean, we kind of all joke about it a little bit, but you kind of really need to be sort of a perfectionist if you're going to be an aircraft mechanic. Maybe back at high school I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing, but here I, I know what my outcome is. I know what I'm going to be doing, so I'm, I'm motivated to, to keep moving forward. Another thing that BTC has helped out with tremendously is the fact that they will bring us on field trips like tours to like a bunch of the aviation companies, especially in Burlington, so it's pretty awesome. There is a lot that they teach you in this class, everything that you need to know as a mechanic. But when you're out there in the field, their major concern is like human factors. And it's always safety comes first. And then at the end of the day, it's like the biggest reward ever because the aircraft goes out and you know that it's safe. To learn more about our application process and programs, visit Burlington Technical Center today at btc.bsdvt.org.